All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the custom parachute message mod, which is being made by form user Ice Covery. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to create your own parachute messages, just like with Perseverance. And I love this mod, as quite frankly, I honestly would have been perfectly happy with just a retexture of the existing parachute to look like Perseverance, but instead we get a whole tool set to make basically any message you want. And that is so fun. So let's uh, jump in the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we all do get here. Now let's go ahead and grab uh, just a pre-built ship like the Jumping Flea and start by talking about a prerequisite mod that we do need for this thing to work. And that is the Real Shoot Parachute Systems mod. That basically gives you access to the parachutes so that they can be encoded with the message you want through this custom parachute message mod. Now you do have to take an extra step here to actually get your parachutes to work. You are going to have to go to the action groups menu here and actually click on your parachute. Now that's going to bring up the real shoot parachute UI and by default, whoops forgot to change that back, the shoot model right here is going to be selected as single shoot. To get the custom parachute messages to work, you're going to have to switch that to encoded. And it's as simple as that. You can just go ahead and then close the action groups menu and you're good to go. Now, I do want to return back here, though, real quick. Uh, one of the things that was pointed out on the mod page is that if you are using, uh, like, say, for instance, other modded parachutes that may not be compatible, the encoded may not be here. If it isn't, you cannot make a message with that parachute. But if this encoded option is here, you should be good to go, which is a nice thing to know. Now, to actually create our glorious new message, we have to open up a UI by right-clicking on our parachute and then hitting Toggle Customization Window. And boom, here we go. This is where all the fun happens. And best of all, it shows a preview. <laughs> I love this. You don't got to guess at what your parachute's going to look like. It just opens up a glorious little preview here in the VAB or, of course, the Space Plane Hangar as well, so you can see what your parachute message will be. And I love that. So let's take a look at what all we do get here in this UI. And we're actually going to start at the bottom for this one because, well, I love this preview. And we have two options with that. By default, it's going to be on the flat preview. So there are parachute here is just squished flat against the wall of the VAB over there. But if we want it to look like how it will be deployed, well, we just unclick that and boom, there we go. We have the more, you know, dome-shaped parachute here now that makes it look like what it'll be when this is deployed in the world, which is pretty neat. Now, I personally prefer the flat preview. It just looks nicer to me, but hey, whatever way you want to go. Now, the next option we have here is auto update. Now, basically, by default, this is going to be turned on. And how this works is anytime you make any changes up here, it will update this image. And whenever it updates, it also saves it. So if you go to launch, this is going to be the parachute we have when we launch. If you don't turn auto update on, you're going to have to hit this update button. Uh, personally, I would never turn this off, but I guess if you if you are having like a real uh, slow computer having some issues maybe turning it off might help and then you just got to remember to manually update it to save things but i just personally keep it on now let's go up to the mid section and look at the main meat and potatoes of this thing and that is the editing mode now by default it's going to be on standard but we also do have a bitwise editing mode that we'll get to here in a moment now, the standard one here is what you'd pretty much expect for, well, the Perseverance message. We can create words and also coordinates. So we have three words available to us, word one, two, and three, and then our latitude and longitude, which is on the outer ring around the edge. Now, if you want, it's non-canon and it even says it when we click this, but you can turn ring four into another word by just unclicking ring four is coordinate 
And boom, there you go. We get a fourth word. And like I said, that little warning, hey, this is not canon, guy. This is not good. <laughs> but I love it. So you can type in here and have an additional word for your parachute. Personally, though, I, I love having the coordinates because, hey, it's a little aspirational goal to hopefully, maybe, actually hit your target. I won't, but hey, maybe you will. <laughs> And it's just quite nice. And in any of these boxes, we can go and edit in here and type whatever we need to change it up. You can see I just changed that from a zero to a one, and this was changed right there. Now let's change it back to a zero, and boom, that is gone. And same thing with all of the words up here. You can change them and it will adjust the entirety of the parachute to make this new message. And for your convenience, there are a couple of presets. We do have the Perseverance message itself, Dare Mighty Things. We also do have the Kerbal Space Program, KSP, and then also a Kerbal Space Center with the coordinates of the Kerbal Space Center. And finally, a Kerbal version of, I guess, the Perseverance one, Rocket Science. How hard can Rocket Science be anyways? I like that one. It amuses me. And it's just a fun little thing. And again, you can change these to whatever you want. Now, here's the thing, though. What if you don't want words or coordinates? What if you just want to use all of these individual bits, I guess you would call them, to make a design? Well, that's where the bitwise editing mode comes in. Once we click this, ha oh boy, we have access to many things. I'm gonna skip this for right now. We're gonna start with the presets. We have a load of presets in here. So we can do inverted current bits, we can do blank, we can do all fill, checkerboard, thick checkerboard, and just so many things going down to allow all of these individual sections to become a design. And look at all the presets we have. It is very cool. There's just so many in here, and you can have a lot of fun things. And what's, I really like this too, the random button. You can just keep hitting this and it'll make a random one each time. And yeah, it's very cool. You could make some fun designs with this thing that, you know, instead of being words and numbers, just looks neat. Now, these are the presets. If you want, though, you can, oh boy, actually go through all 320 bits on this parachute and turn on their individual sections one by one. Again, 300 and 20 bits. <laughs> I love that. You have a lot of options here. You can randomize, you can select the pre-designed ones, or painstakingly turn on and off all the things that you desire. And what's really cool about this, if you do go through all that trouble of editing each ring's individual bits, you can actually save it. We have the pattern code. This is the individual bit code, basically, for all 320 of the darn things. And you can copy this and say, email it to a friend. And you can paste it down in here and hit load. And boom, uh, <laughs> I tried to load nothing, so of course nothing happened. You can try and hit load, and then it will save, or bring in that parachute. So you can actually share your parachute designs with your friends, which is just so neat. I really, really do like that. It's a painstaking method to create what it is you want by individually clicking these bits. But once you go through all that effort, you can share it with the world and that's pretty great. Personally though, I pretty much stick to the standard mode, though some of the pre-designed ones in here, like the checkered boards, and also really like the cap one, I think are pretty fun. Uh, so just on like a basic mission, like maybe a cargo mission to a space station, I'd use these, but for any big missions, I'd prefer the straight up message in here because I think it's pretty cool. Now we have one last bit up at the top, and that's the color. You don't have to be stuck with just the orange and white. We can go to color A, and that is going to change the background color, as you can see, and you've got full RGB control, or even put in the hex code. And color B is actually going to be the, I guess, the bits. So you can again change the RGB and the hex code there and make it whatever color you desire, which is so cool. I love it, I love it so much. You got lots of options there. And once you're done, you just, you know, if you had auto update on, you're good. If you don't hit update, boom, you're ready to go out and fly and take a look at your new 
custom parachute message. And it's amazing. I, I love this mod so much. It's just such a cool idea. And to take, you know, the, of course, uh, you know, big internet fame that Perseverance 1 had with its awesome parachute, and turning that into a mod like this is just so neat. Now, let's actually just pop ourselves up real quick. Oh, no, not the... Oh, no, yeah, the lander. So, uh, current... Let's set that to a thousand, so we have plenty of room, and let's uh, drop it all there, and uh, boom, let's release, ooh, I actually shouldn't have done that, oh boy, let's, you know what, let's revert flight back to launch, didn't mean to <laughs> activate the flea engine, I just wanted to drop it from a thousand feet, and uh, meters rather, and just show off the parachute, let's, let's just, ooh, let's actually put that after the parachute, there we go. Let's try that again. All right, it's already set, so boom, land, now drop, and let us release our parachute there. And boom, as you can see, it is, you know, looking like a normal parachute waiting to be unfurled. And there we go, our glorious message is seen by the world, and it's great. Oh God, I'm trying to move the, there we go. There's a nicer shot with the moved camera magnificent so there you go you get your own custom parachute message to show to the world in your screenshots for your fun missions to other planets in this game to you know say whatever it is you like and that is pretty darn cool so if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do you have a look at the link in the description my friends as per usual but that is going to be it for uh, this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.